Hey guys, this is Ryan Epic here with another review. This time I will be reviewing um, Age of Ultron issue two. So yeah, I review um I read this book a while back and it's kind of hard to remember what I read, but still really good book. I gotta say. Uh, again, um, Brian Michael Bendis is writing this book, which is always good because he was absolutely amazing on Avengers. So and um, Brian Hitch is. The penciler, and um, so this is issue two. I, if you guys remember, I did a review of issue one, and later on, I'm gonna be doing issue three. So, starts out with this mystery girl who's wearing a hood, but eventually, you already know um, with it, um, you already know who it is because of something you see. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show, show you. And then, all of a sudden, these Ultron characters come and they say, Smit or Perish. I think they do. Um, and um, no, they don't, so they don't see her, and then. Some dude goes up to him and says, "What do you have?" And um, he says, um, "You got something? What? Um, what? A car? Food? Give me what you have." And he's got a gun. He says, uh, "Where did you get a gun? Dr drop the blanket and put your um, hands on the um, on the wall." Because he's like nervous and he's like, um, "And he's like, I'm." Um, he's like, "You won't do it. You won't kill me." And then all of a sudden, she pulls off the hood and it's Black Widow, and it's just disgusting. Something bad happened to her eye. I don't know. Something just gross. So he's like, "Did you um get the, to watch your family die? Do you think they watch you now?" And he's like, "No, no more talk. Give me your um what you have." He said, "What? What do you have?" And then all of a sudden, he gets shot in the head. Sign language, and he says, "Um, um, she's doing sign language or something." I had it, and she said, he "Said sign language. Sure, you did." And then um, you finally see Moon Knight. Yes, I haven't seen Moon Knight in forever in Marvel Comics. Moon Knight is one of those characters that's really, really cool, and I, which I believe should get a, um, a new comic book, especially with Wave 2 going on right now. Wave 2 of Marvel Now is coming out. Ah, no, no, no. I already got so many books. Why are you like, putting up a Wave 2? No. So, um, Moon Knight's back, though. That's cool. And then, all of a sudden, um, she grabs what she, um, she grabs something out of his pocket, and it is a candy bar or something, and... So safe, um, Silent went to safe house, and next thing you know, they go in safe house, and all of a sudden, an Age of Ultron, um, guy says, Smit or Paris, and then, um, some guys, um, that, uh, um, get vaporized, and they didn't see her, so, and all of a sudden, they go to the old safe house, which is, if you remember back in the day, um, Nick Fury had a barber shop where he went there, and it was a safe house, which they did have, so, um, which they now have, so that's really cool. So then, um, next thing you know, uh, Black Widow meets, um, um, or Natasha or whatever. She meets, um, Moon Knight back at the base. So, they're back at the base, they're talking, and, like, you think how many, um, how many th people do you think Smith or Paris? And then they go back to the old wall. If you remember back in the, cla um, the classic old days, where, um, back when, no, not in the old days, I'm sorry. When the scroll invasion happened, um, Nick Fury was, um, basically, um, um, um missing in action, so... Um, he had this, um, when he was gone, he had this kind of wall of all the superheroes or anybody or basically anybody, like, um, the, um, the villains and the, vi um, heroes and basically the villains slash heroes, everybody. And he was wondering if they were scrolls or not scrolls. This is happened during Scroll of Mission. They're doing the same exact thing back at their old base, seeing if they've smit or perished. So, um, and... Um, and there's like, this was Fury's side, well, one of them, and they were talking about, would, if, um, Fury's still out there, would, do you think he'd kill us for using his stuff? And they said, um, yeah, and they're like, go, you have to leave now, and like, um, mind your own business, and like, they're just fighting, so, not like fighting, fist fighting, they're just fighting, and, um, next thing you know, um, Peter Parker slash Dr. Aquas is talking to himself, saying, this is all my fault, if I didn't sleep through all this, um, this would have never happened, and may nothing. So then all of a sudden, um, um, someone says, what did you say, Peter? And, um, you see a little bit of something, um, you see, um, Peter Parker sleeping and then all of a sudden waking up seeing the age of Ultron going on. So, one thing I gotta say, though, I'm not, I'm, um, I kind of, I like Brian Hitch's artwork, but I don't, I just don't think he draws Spider-Man good. So, I'm just saying right now, if you, if you don't want to see this, don't get this book, but... It, it, no, no, that doesn't take anything away from this book. I just don't think he's not... I don't think he's the best drawing Spider-Man. And the funny thing is, I'm watching Spider-Man as I do this review. Um, I muted it so I can do this review without you guys hearing it. 
But I, it's funny because I'm watching as I'm doing this. Okay, now back to the review. And he said, um, um, do you, um, he's like, do we know what happened? To, um, Manhattan is like, we assumed um, it's all destroyed. And he's talking to, um, he's talking to Tony Stark. And he's like, um, he's like, no military, no nothing. Washington D.C. is gone. We know um, that for a fact. Gone as in gone like it never existed. So can I just stay, um, say I'm really glad um, to see you guys. And they're just talking. He's talking to everyone. He's like, what happened to you? Why were they um, grabbing you? And then all of a sudden they go back to Spider-Man. He's swinging around the city. And he sees Ultron. Um, or some Ultron thing. And they say, my spider sense didn't even go off. Yeah. There was just a flash of white. And I woke up drugged and tied up to a chair. And um, there was... Um, what were you um you doing um to, what were they doing to you drugging me um taking um thing, you you know and then all of a sudden um they're just talking and making a, trying to make a plan and they can't think of anything and just trying to make sure Spider Man's okay and everything and he's like we don't even have a plan what are we gonna do to survive and then all of a sudden if you remember from my first review Captain America was crying in the corner being a giant wuss and now. He is, actually, I think he's drunk. He is drunk, and the one thing I find funny is he's holding the part of his Captain America shield that's still there that was never vaporized. Now, um, and now, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to tell you guys who is still in Age of Ultron in Book 2. Ultron, Black Widow, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Quicksilver, Emma Frost, um, Iron Fish, E-Hulk, Valkyrie, um, Luke Cage, Hawkeye, um, Malcario... Rambia, I don't know who that is. Wolverine, Sue Storm, Beast Storm, da um, no, Sue Storm, Beast Storm, Daisy jo um, Johnson, Iron Man, and Captain America. Those were the people that were in book two, and also known as the people who have survived. So, uh, March has officially gone. So, um, the first three books are now done. Um, I will be doing a review of Fantastic Four AU, um, issue five AU. I've decided. I'm going to be getting all the Age of Ultron tie-ins. I know, it doesn't do good on my wallet. It's not actually my wallet. It's my pops. No, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, that's, it's my parents doing it for me. They're just that nice. But um, I'm getting all the Age of Ultron tie-ins. I will be getting um, Ultron 1 AU, Avengers Assemble 14 AU, Wolverine and the X-Men 26 AU, Avengers Assemble 15 AU, Uncanny Avengers 8 AU, and Fearless Avengers 4 AU. Just to warn you. I probably won't be getting my books this one day, Wednesday, sadly, because money is tight right now. Um, my we don't have um, we don't have that much money this week. We have money, but we don't have that much right now because just spring break's been crazy. And that's why this these reviews are late. So um, that's why we're kind of, we're not out of money. We're just we're trying to save back until when my mom and dad have paid it. So that's why um, I'm probably not going to my comic book store this week. So um, Age of Ultron um, will be a little back, and it will be up. I know, I know the review will be up, but still, um, I'm gonna be giving this book a four. I'm gonna give it a four. Um, I just felt like it, the story was everywhere. It was kind of hard to remember, and just Age of Ultron has been okay so far. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Um, I will be doing the reviews of the tie-ins right now. Right after this, and then I'll be doing H3, and then I'm going to have a whole bunch of other books to review. So, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.